Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. This is morning prayer for Monday, Thursday, April the 21st, 2011. The scripture for this service, Psalm 102 and Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 7 through 11. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Sunrise to sunset changes now, for God doth make his world anew. On the Redeemer's thorn crown brow, the wonders of that dawn we Psalm 102 My beloved God, listen to my prayer, and let my cry for help reach you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear toward me, and answer me quickly when I call. For my days vanish like smoke, my bones burn away like a fire, my heart is withered like the grass, I forget to eat my bread. I cry with all my strength, and my skin clings to my bones. I have become like a pelican in the wilderness, like an owl in desolate places. I lie awake and I moan, like some lonely bird on a roof, and all day long my foes revile me. Those who hate me curse my name. The bread I eat is ashes, my drink is mingled with tears. In your fury you have lifted up and thrown me down. My days are like a passing shadow, and I wither away like the grass. But you, O Most High, will endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will rise and have mercy on Zion, for this is the time to have mercy. Yes, the time appointed has come. For your servants love her very stones, and are moved with pity even for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, and all the earth's kings your glory, when you shall rebuild Zion, and appear resplendent in glory. Your will, you will turn to the prayers of the helpless. You will not despise their prayers. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise you, for you lean down from the sanctuary on high, and look down from heaven to the earth, in order to hear the groans of the prisoners, and to free those condemned to die. Our descendants shall dwell untroubled, and our children endure before you, that your name, the name of Yahweh, may be proclaimed in Zion, and your praise in the heart of Jerusalem, when peoples and kingdoms are gathered together, to pay their homage to you. You have broken my strength in mid-course, and have shortened the days of my life. I say to you, do not take me away before my days are complete. You, you whose days last from age to age. Long ago you formed the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment, you will change them like clothes that are changed, but you neither change nor have an end. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Sunrise to sunrise changes now. For God doth make his world anew On the Redeemer's thorn-crowned brow The wonders of that dawn we view The lesson is from the prophet Jeremiah chapter 20, beginning at verse 7. O Yahweh, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. You have overpowered me, and you have prevailed. 
I have become a laughing stock all day long. Everyone mocks me. For whatever I speak, I must cry out. I must shout violence and destruction. For the word of Yahweh has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say I will not mention him, or speak any more his name, then within me there is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I am weary holding it in, and I cannot. For I hear many whispering, terror is all around. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed, and we can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But Yahweh is with me like a dread warrior, and therefore my persecutors will stumble, and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the peace from above, for the loving kindness of God, and for the salvation of our souls. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church, and for the unity of all. For Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and people. For Barack, our president, and for the leaders of the nations, for all in authority. For the good earth which God has given, and for the wisdom and the will to conserve it. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Judith. For the widowed and the orphaned. For the sick and the suffering, especially Gail and Melody and Annabelle and Stephen Michael. For a cure for cancer. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, especially James, Bill, and Robert. For prisoners and captives, for all who remember and care for them. For all who died in the hope of the resurrection, and for all the departed. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose dear Son, on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of the body and blood, Mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ, who in these holy mysteries gives us a pledge of eternal life, and who now lives and reigns with you, holy and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.